Hey there and welcome Hey there and welcome to China Hey there and welcome to Chinazua's life your source for all things lifestyle fashion beauty content creation tips and so much more As the title suggests in today's video I'm going to be spilling the tea on my updated makeup routine and if you're an oily girl like me I'm sure that you'll find this super helpful The temperatures are warming up outside and we cannot be caught slipping okay Y'all know I be out on shoot days, so this is kind of my shoot day beat face, my go-to beat face. All right, y'all, so without further ado, let's go ahead and see how I got this look right here. Hey there, so first things first, I go ahead and start off with my Smashbox Oil Control Primer. As you can see, it literally already took the shine away from my face in like two seconds. After priming, I'm going ahead with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and basically just applying all over my face. This is actually a hack that I learned from Jackie Ina and honestly, it's helped so much to improve my makeup lasting a longer time. For foundation, I'll be using the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation and I always apply this foundation using a wet beauty blender. I've just found that this is the way for it to go ahead and apply the best, especially since I have all that powder on. I want to make sure that we're getting the best coverage possible. Now I'm going in with my NYX Buffing Brush and this is just to make sure that we are all blended out. I love to go ahead with setting powder in those problem areas that are likely to crease, such as underneath my eyes and on my chin. For my eyebrows, I go in with a dark brown pencil and I'm pretty sure it's actually an eyeliner, but yeah, I kind of use it for my lips, for my eyebrows, whatever the case may be. And when I'm filling in my brows, I love to go in with a nice light stroke to apply. Now I'm using the same technique over on the other side. Next, I go in with this angled eyebrow brush just to ensure that the product is being spread all the same throughout the brow. And if at first you don't succeed, you what? Go ahead and dust off and try again. So here we are making sure that the setting powder is being dusted off. Now it's time to go ahead and make my brows pop. So I love to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And this is probably the part of my makeup that takes the longest time, but it's so, so important to me because I feel like eyebrows are the focal part of my face. And I really just take my time to make sure I'm being as detailed as possible. I love to leave a little bit of extra room just to shape the brow to make them nice and thick. And let me tell y'all right now, trying to do my left eyebrow is always the struggle, okay? Especially when I'm not wearing contacts or anything like y'all. So now I'm going ahead and just blending out using a beauty blender because the brush was just not doing it honey okay now it's time to conceal as you can see I'm applying underneath my eyes on my nose on my chin and I'll also be applying on my forehead and to blend out I'm going ahead and using a damp beauty blender this is also a process that I just love to take my time with because we all know that you're not trying to be walking around with unblended makeup on to ensure that we're all blended out, I'm going ahead and using this buffing brush again and also just doing some eyebrow cleanup just by reconcealing one of my brows. And you know what they say, third time's a charm. So now I'm going in for the final setting of my nose, my chin, and also under my eyes. And speaking of eyes, let's go ahead and get into the eyeshadow look. I'll be using the Juvia's Place Masquerade Mini 2 palette, and I typically will use two brown shades, but today I spiced it up and added in a gold shade as well. I use the darker brown shade for my base, followed by the lighter brown shade, and then I top things off by using the golden shade on my inner crease. Then I go ahead and make sure that everything is just properly blended. And of course, that includes making sure that the setting powder is now dusted off completely. I'll be using these super cute lashes from Bath Beauty, which is actually a black owned business. So definitely make sure to go and support y'all. And I'm getting quicker with the time that it takes me to put on my lashes, y'all. This was all in one shot. I know that a lot of people say that they apply their lashes from the middle and then the outer corner and then the inner corner and that's how they get it to stick. But I'm different. I like to do the inner corner first, then the middle, then the outer corner. I love to use this Fenty Beauty mascara to go ahead and blend in my natural lashes with the false lashes. Lashes. And now I'm going ahead and contouring using an LA Girl Pro Concealer that's just a darker shade. And to blend out, I go ahead and use a wet beauty blender. Y'all already know how much I rave about this buffing brush, but as you can see, it's able to just help me blend out even more. And sometimes, but not always, I love to add in a little bit of nose contour. 
Okay, I may have lied about that third time being the last time, but I promise this is the last time that I'll be using the setting powder, and I'm just doing it under the areas where I contoured. And the beat is almost complete. Now I'm going in with that same liner that I used earlier for the brows and going ahead and lining my lips. I'll be using the new NYX This Is Milky Gloss along with the Juvia's Place Chocolate Nudes edition of lipsticks. So I'm applying the Juvia's lipsticks to the middle of my lip and then the NYX This Is Milky Gloss on the outer corners and also on the top. And just for a little bit more pop, I'm going in and applying that Juvia's Place Nudes lipstick all over the bottom lip again. Now it's time for the final blending, y'all. I was staring in this mirror so hard just making sure that I'm like, okay, am I blended out? Are we good to go? And lastly, I'll be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte Setting Spray. And y'all, I did not shake this bottle, so that is why those white marks came out on my skin, but I later cleaned it up. So thank you guys so much for staying tuned up until this point of the video. Definitely let me know down in the comments section below if there's anything that you do that's similar or if there's anything that you do that's different, especially if you're an oily girl when it comes to your routine. Like I said earlier, this has been tested and true for me, honestly. Like my makeup will not get oily. My makeup will just stay as is. And I feel like, you know, with the setting spray, with the setting powder, different things like that, they've just been so helpful in controlling my oiliness throughout the day, especially when I'm gone for long hours. And also, I don't have them here with me, but my NYX blotting sheets are like the go- If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure to pause this video, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Also, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And y'all already know the drill, if you're not following me over on Instagram, over on Twitter, actually, my Twitter got suspended, but we are gonna get back to that. But if you're not following me, me over on Instagram, over on TikTok, over on Clubhouse, over on Pinterest. You can find me on all of those platforms at Chinaza's Life. And y'all know I'm not about to close out this video without doing my little jingle or you know whatever we like to call it over here. And that's all I got for today, y'all. 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 Hey, hey. Seriously, guys, thank you so much for tuning in with me, and I'll see you back for my next one.